Hi, this is JP LaForce from EfficientAnalyst.com. In this video, we will create a derived attribute in MicroStrategy. And more specifically, we will take the year attribute here and convert it into decades. So we're using the same data set that we used before. So this is the Rolling Stones 500. And uh, there is a link in the description of the video below on where you can get this data set. And then we'll use this to convert the year into a decade. So the first thing is if you click the options button here for the data set, you can either create a metric or attribute. So in this case, we'll use the attribute. And I'll do this in two ways. So the first one is I'll build a formula one section at a time uh, to better understand what each section does. And also in each version, I'll be introducing some new features in here. So the first version, I will simply call it year divided by 10. And you will quickly understand why, because I will double click the year here and just use divided by 10. And you can click the validate button in the bottom here and it says this is a valid formula so you know all your formulas are correct and so you can use any of the arithmetic functions like that and it'll be very quick to make some simple ones so let me drag that here and you will see that 1955 becomes 195.5 the next one that we will create is using the integer function. So if you click in here, you have a lot of different options in here. Uh, you have some mathematical ones, statistics, strings, basic functions, and so on. And you also have a search box. So I know in this case, I'm looking for the integer function, int. And in the bottom here, it tells you the structure on how to use it. So you use the integer function and put any number and it is going to round down to the nearest integer. And we will drag the year divided by 10. And sometimes it can't quite get it where you'd like within the parentheses, but when you can quickly adjust it here. So I will call this one here integer. And you can see here that 1955, which became 195.5, is now 195. So you see this is on a good way to become the 1950s. The next attribute we will Create is int multiplied by 10. And so we will use the year integer, integer mult, and multiply it by 10. And again, if you'd like, you can validate the function. And you can see here you have 1955 through 1959 is correctly associated with the 1950s and so on. Now you could very easily end there and call this your decade attribute, but I'd like to show one more feature so we'll take it one step further and we will use the concatenate function here in the string functions or again you can use the search if you'd like to find it. So concatenate allows you to take the int multiplied by 10 and you can add something else. So here I will add an S at the, the end and we will call this decade complex. I'm calling it complex because we use quite a lot of attributes to finally get to our end result but you can very quickly see how the process goes and you can do this with all your attributes. Now you don't have to do it 
in multiple steps like that, you can take year, you divide it by 10, you do the integer function, multiply by 10, and you concatenate an S at the end of it. And you can see that in one single attribute, you can do all of those steps in here. And if you'd like to go back and you're not sure how you had built that function before or uh, you want to make a change to it, you can right click any of those attributes, go in edit, and you can see your formula in here uh, using the attribute editor like this, or you can switch to the formula editor, which gives you this view here. Uh, basically, both allow you to do the same thing, so it's up to your preference which one you feel more comfortable with. Personally, I like this style more, but uh, in some cases I do use the other editor also. And one of the final things you can do if you go back to, let's say, the year divided by 10, you do have the number format. So you could use the separator like this and you can reduce or add extra spaces after the uh, dot and you can edit your how your f numbers look that way and uh, basically if you have percentages you can put it or if you have currency you can use a dollar amount you can use fixed or any of these other types here you can use the scientific notation if you prefer. Uh, so this offers you quite a lot of flexibility on how you would like your attributes to look like. If you make the change over in the data set here, anytime you use these attributes, the change will be automatically passed through. However, if you want to override how an attribute looks in just one specific uh, visualization like this one here you can also make a change at this level here so we've already told it we want this one as a scientific but if I go over here and go in number formats I can choose a different system so I could use a fraction would probably look a little weird but it would look something like this as a fraction So as you can see, this gives you a lot of flexibility. And if you were to create a new visualization in the same page and you wanted to bring in the year divided by zero, it would use the default from the data set, which was scientific that we put in this case. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please click like, subscribe, and share with a friend. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.